Hey everyone, it's Ashley here, Nerf and Stein, and we are back with our Nerf community mod that we're all working together on when I put it up on Facebook Live, my last stream. If you want to see an edited version of that, it's much, much shorter. It is probably my last Nerf video here on YouTube. I'd like to thank everyone who showed up for that stream. We had loads of great community ideas, some of which I'm going to show you now. But just really quickly, I'm going to run the names along here of everyone who took part, whether we use their ideas or not. Really good fun. I'm thinking of making community nerf mods a regular thing. Okay, so here's the blaster and it was named by Bren over on Facebook Live. Robust Dainty, which I think suits this thing perfectly. I'd already thought of making it a blunderbuss, but we were looking at these pieces here, which had all been cut to slide over the front of the blaster. But in the end, Duke and a few other people, I think maybe Patrick, uh, maybe Josh Lee, I can't remember. But a few other people came up and said the blunderbuss idea was pretty cool. So that's what we've gone with. I thought I didn't have any PVC, but I managed to find some. So I just heat formed it, which was Duke's idea. So credit to him. Just heated up the end of the PVC with the heat gun, found this funnel, popped it in there when it was hot and just sort of gently did that. And we ended up with this. I also added this. This is so that it can have a ramrod as a musket type uh, blaster would have. That's purely for aesthetics. It doesn't do anything. Obviously, you're not gonna load it with that, but I thought it was a nice little addition regardless. You can see that we changed the butt. I actually sawed the bottom of it off, smoothed it out, attached that, super, super sturdy. And then I redid the grip. And how I did that was so that it matched the original grip was literally some craft foam and scored in that sort of pattern that the original grip had and then just glued it around. Super easy if you wanna do that and you wanna change the grip somewhat. I like this now. I think it hugs the hand better. Pretty cool. Okay, so where we're at at the moment is, I'm about to dry brush this, which I know is super boring for anyone who's watched any of my other painting videos. It is literally me doing this with some silver paint. I'm gonna do that all over before we begin working out what color's gonna go where. Again, thanks to everyone who took part. I'm, Definitely want to make uh, community nerf mods a thing. Really, really fun. And you gave some great ideas, so cheers for that. I'm going to time lapse this next bit so that you're not completely bored out of your brain. Take out the ramrod because we don't need that. And let's hit it and see what happens. Okay, that's the first lot of uh, dry brushing done. You can see I did the entire thing, even though most of it will be different colors. I'm thinking for the barrel, I'm actually gonna spray that probably silver or chrome and then just dirty it up rather than trying to dry brush it silver, which would be a lot of dry brushing. And I'm thinking that the chrome idea would probably make that a lot easier. It's entirely up to you if you're making one, however. You can see it's brought the detail out and you can see the grip. It doesn't look that dissimilar to the grip that was there, so. Okay, next up, I need to think about what colors I'm gonna use. I'll be back when I've given that some thought. Okay, I took a quick look and it appears that most blunderbuss style blasters are mainly made of wood. So I've decided I'm going to copperize all this part, leave that there so that when I spray it chrome, it sort of differentiates itself from this part. I'm not sure about the blade yet, whether or not maybe I'll make it gold or something so that again, it's different to the other parts. It depends what that's gonna look like. This here, I'm probably gonna make gold. So I'm thinking if this was gold and this was gold, that might set off the bottom of it quite nicely. The wrap, you know me, I'm probably gonna go for red. I haven't decided yet. So I'm gonna hit this up now with some copper, give it that sort of brown look and we'll come back once it's done. Don't cry for me. I know that I've already done it silver. It's all good. Hitting it with that copper just lightly, sort of giving it this nice rose gold look. So if you wanted to do that, I guess the way to do it is by doing it silver and then doing a little bit of copper. It's pretty nice. Next up, gold. Who else thinks of Spandau Ballet every time you hear that? Just me. This is for the blade and the bird. Same thing. Okay, so we've done the copper, done the gold. 
I'm going to take it outside. I'm going to tape it off first, obviously, and I'm going to spray this chrome, and then we'll dirty it up with some black paint mixed with some water. See what the color choices look like. You can never tell until it's finished, obviously, but we'll cross our fingers and hope for the best. Spray of some chrome. Definitely needs neatened up, that's for sure. Now, I don't know if I like it or not, but I'll need to paint everything else before I decide. I'm gonna do this next, just to ensure that that's dry properly. Feels like it is. This tape is terrible. I picked up the green one, assuming it was frog tape, and it's not. Red, like I said, I was gonna do it brown, but I want something to pop. I might do this red as well. I know John, J-O-N, mentioned that in the chat, that he would like to see that red, so I'll probably do that as well. Here we go. It's easy to do, it's just really time consuming. Like I've edited out a lot, no doubt by the time you see it, my arm is like, ugh. Next up this. This is when I hope and pray that the metallic paint stays on because some metallic paint is a right pain in that if you stick dodgy cheap tape to it, it will peel it off. As I say, I thought this was my frog tape, but they've obviously released it in green to suck people in. I'm going to do this brown, just to get rid of that silver, where I have stupidly oversprayed. Wait for that to dry, do another coat, and then we will dry brush it with a lighter color. Probably gonna dirty where this joins anyway with some of the black paint that I mentioned. There we go, wait for that to dry, and then we are gonna dry brush a little bit of a lighter color. It's important that you, when you're dry brushing, the layer before is dry, obviously, otherwise the paint will mix together. You already know that stuff. That'll do, we wanna get it done today. Tip on, tip off. Did you get that movie reference? I bet you did. That's where we're at at the moment. Not sure what color to do the ramrod holder. Certainly not the color that it is. I might do it black actually. It definitely needs dirtied. Okay, I'm gonna grab some water, some black paint, start splashing it on, hope the best. Okay, if you haven't seen my how to dirty your Nerf blaster, I'll quickly run through it. You need some water, some black acrylic, mix it into an ink. Let's cling to the popsicle stick and a brush. I'm gonna do this bit here. You don't have to be neat here, you just have to hope for the best. A little bit better, a little bit less over the top glossy. I'm probably gonna go back over this gold anyway, so I'm just going into some of the gaps. Sometimes dry brushing can look too neat. You want this thing to look like it's owned by a pirate, not by an antique dealer. Again, I say if you are doing this yourself, Take your time. I'm obviously doing this for a YouTube video, so like I'm using a dirty, dirty one instead of getting a clean one. I haven't got any wet ones ready. I might even do this guy. Here we go, it just sort of seeps into all of the crevices. Brings things up a little bit nicer. I do the trigger silver just to differentiate it as well. I may go over that with some silver dry brushing as well, just to get rid of the obvious lines. I've just had a crazy thought. I'm going to do it red because I want to. I feel like there's something missing. I'm not sure what it is. Ah, I said I'd do the trigger silver. Oh, that is so messy. I feel embarrassed for myself, but I just want to get it done. Yes, I remember I was said I was going to do these red, but for now, they are black. Just to get the video done. There we go. That is the Robust Dainty, named by Bren over on my Facebook Live. Community effort all round. Really enjoyed this one. I'll definitely be doing more community builds in the future. I'll take some photos, as I always do, once I've neatened a few things up. And hopefully you've liked this build. As always, hit the comments. More than happy to hear your thoughts and opinions on this one. And if you've got any ideas for future community builds, just let me know in the comments as well, and we'll see what we can do. Don't mess with the robust dainty. Nerf and Stein out.
It's finished. It's a steampunk blaster now. Super quick addendum. I remember that John, my mate John, asked to put a little cage over here and paint it red. So I'm going to do that. And you'll see that in the pictures at the end. It's literally little bits of a hair roller. I'm going to glue them together to make it fit perfectly. Paint the inside white, wait for it to dry, paint the inside red. This will be silver dry brush, so black, and then silver over the top. All glued in and you should be able to see the red pop out through the silver. That's it.